it's such a lovely day. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here also. I'm sorry I'm a little late, folks. I'm a little late. It's what happens when you drive on Route 18 and people cut you off doing 67 miles an hour and you have to sit in the police station for an hour and 10 minutes because of a driver who was alleged, allegedly talking on a cell phone, right, on her left hand, drinking coffee with her right hand, staying, staring with her knee, okay, right leg extended in the passenger's lap and they were cutting her toenails and she's doing 30 miles over the speed limit, cut me off. And the reason that I know all this other information was on the news at 12 o'clock. If you watch Channel 4 News in Boston, some woman from this area was driving like a maniac. They said that she <laughs> lives around here. I'm still, I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm just shaking. Holy cow. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> And I guess the reason that she got here so fast, her fancy schmancy lawyer shows up. It was $10,000 bail, so he walks into the Middleborough Police Station, bails her out, and they both went driving somewhere. I don't know who the <laughs> fancy schmancy lawyer, but uh, so we are in a good mood. Okay, folks, this is a quiz show. This is, I call my Hollywood quiz show. Who is Mr. DJ? I've entertained children for over 20 years, and they used to call me Mr. DJ, so it just kind of stuck. And this was actually designed for children. I made this for children. Um, and I, st I did a children's dance party at the Duxbury Senior Center a little over four years ago. And I said, seniors. And now I do this up to eight times a week and I love it. And honestly, I'll, I'm in my early or mid 50s or somewhere in there. I'll do this for another 20 years. I'll do this for 30 more years because it's fun and it's different. And most of what I do in nursing homes. And God love them, yesterday I had 80 and 90 year old contestants they couldn't click the buttons, they couldn't hear me, they couldn't see anything, but I think they had fun. And I brought my grandmother along, she's in this box here, she got me started in this business. She's tried to claw her way out a few times, as you can see, but I love her. But seriously, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get four contestants, and they'll come up and they'll grab a seat and they'll, have, they'll grab a clicker just like it's on TV. And you'll adjust the microphones where you can speak into them, and the questions will come on TV. We're, we're gonna do some general, trivia questions, maybe presents, or things about children, or colors, or, or states, or geography. And then I have some old TV commercials, I have some Name That Tune, we'll do some old Hollywood actors, pretty much um, a smorgasbord of different topics. And it's, most of the questions will be multiple choice, and you don't lose answer, you don't lose points. If you get the wrong answer, you won't lose a point. So it doesn't hurt to guess. But the hardest thing that I will do today will be to see if I can get four contestants who want to come up, have some fun, and maybe win some small prizes. It's not going to be millions of dollars, don't worry, but four people that might want to come up and be our contestants. We have one. Send him over here, sir. Anyone else? It's easy, folks. I do this all the time. If you could just walk around the outside. What if we had two gentlemen and two ladies? We have another lady. Send her over here. Okay, you don't have to be a lady. Is that another one? Is she standing up? Three? Ooh, look at this. And one more, and my day will be complete. And one, two, three, is that her too? Wow, look at this. All right, great. Here are our four, four, four contestants. All right. Usually I have to bribe people. And, and we have these, and that's right, if you can just bend the microphone down and pull your chair up close to the microphone. Put on my reading glasses. You remember the age when you couldn't see anything without these? And how many pairs were you in your house? About 10 of them. And you always lost them all. Okay. And is this Middleborough cable that's here filming? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I heard the word Middleborough. I was going to say we're in Lakeville. Okay. How about a round of applause for our camera people out there? Yay! The first question will be, um, how do you think she likes it? I'm kidding. They don't know that. <laughs> so anybody, anybody press a button. Anybody. Okay, I'm sorry. My pardons, my pardons. I didn't get names. I need some names. The green contestant. What's your Marian. name? Marion. Marion is here. Marion. That's the two towns over, too, right? Yep. Next to Marion is? Lorraine. Lorraine. I always love that name, Lorraine. Next to Lorraine is? Jeanette. Jeanette. 
And next to Jeanette, the bravest man alive. Gil. Gil. How about a round of applause? Marion, Lorraine, Jeanette, and Gil. They'll be our contestants today as we journey down memory lane. Okay. So, Marion, you see your button that you just pressed? You see how it's green? Yeah. Folks, anyone else, if you press your button, not, nothing happens. Yeah. Because the first one to press it will lock out everybody else. Okay, one of the most common things that I will hear, especially in nursing home, my button is broken. <laughs> the, if your button doesn't work, that means that someone beat you to it. Okay? Uh, the incorrect answer, Marion, if you answered incorrectly, you'd hear the buzzer. <laughs> like this. And anyone else can click in? Anybody else click in? No! Lorraine, you see how your button lit up? Yes. Don't give an answer unless your button is lit, okay? Because you might be giving it away to your opponent. Okay, uh, Jeanette, click in, please. No. Go. And and then Gil, go no. ahead. And if you see your button is blue, that you 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 clicked. Okay, good, good. Um, one thing that I beg of the audience, please, if you know an answer, shout it. If you know an answer, shout it. Pretend you, especially if you ever yet wanted to yell at one of these people, or if you wanted to shout uh, shout in this building. You can shout an answer. Most of the answers that contestants get tend to come from the audience. So feel free if you know the answer, just go ahead and shout it out. And um, like I said, uh -huh. I have some small prizes at the end um, for the winner. And we've got bonus points at the end. One turn per question. And just know this, that you can click in at any time. But once you click that button, if I say, what's the answer? You have about five seconds, so you might want to just wait a little bit um, on, on maybe some of the musical questions or, or what have you before you click in. Okay, let's get to the first. Uh -oh. I lost something here. Speak to your neighbor. And you know what it is? It's a remote control. There it is. It was in the sofa. Okay, um, first question. Let's get something to do with children. I think it does. And audience, once again, Feel free to shout answers if you would. Good luck, contestants. The average child in one year, how many pounds of cereal do you think they eat? No! 10, 115, or 25 pounds. Gil is the first one to click in. Yes, sir? 25. He says 25 pounds. Would anyone think 25 pounds of cereal out there? Just show me a sign of life. Show me that it's not an oil. Hey, good job. Uh, no, it's not 25. No! Yes, Jeanette. I'd say 100. 100 pounds of cereal a year, the average uh, child, no. How about Lorraine? 15. Could you get that microphone up just no, a little sorry. where it angles? 15. 15 is the correct answer, yes. Good job, she gets the point. And people start clapping. Yeah. Yay. See how easy it is? How about this one? More English words tend to begin with this letter. Do you think it's A? Is it T, S, or E? Folks, if you have an answer, go ahead and shout it. Don't be shy. Go ahead. And Gil, and once again, folks, you don't lose a point. If you want to just take a wild guess, you don't lose points for the wrong answer. Gil, what do you think? T. He says T. Uh, no. I tend to begin with this letter. Yes. S is the correct answer for Marion. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see? See? Huh? Next question. How about the French language? We took French. I took French for five years in school. Do you think people speak French where I live now? No. More French words. They tend to begin with this letter is L. P, is it S, or do you think it's C? Anyone go ahead and click in, it's Lorraine. L. L is for the way you look. No. That's a good guess. Over there, Jeanette. C. No, ma'am, that's a Spanish word. It is the correct answer, yes. C, yes. And don't forget, you can only have one term per question. One term per question. Here's the next one. How about some golfers? Most professional golfers. What state do you think they're born in? No! New York, Florida, Texas, or California? It's Marion. Florida. Florida, she says. I know people are raising their hands. Uh, no! Lorraine. In California. Most professional golfers live in Florida, but they're born in California, yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Peer pressure over here. A penguin. Now, folks, when was the last time you honestly tried to hold your breath and see how long you'd hold it for? I'm going to try it right now. Without turning blue, not too long. How long can a penguin hold its breath for? No! Five, a hundred, ten, or twenty minutes, Lorraine. Ten. She said ten. Uh, no! It's Marion. Five. Five. Uh, no. Wow. Yes. Gil. Twenty. I didn't say hold the woman next to you, Gil. Please listen. I said. Uh, I'm sorry. It was the correct answer. It was twenty. 
Yes. I'll give him a ding. Good job. Now he's just being silly. Next question. The average cat, did you ever stare at your cat? How many times do they blink their eyes usually, on average? A hundred, two, fifty, I think it's twenty times in a minute. I hear answers. Take a guess, take a guess. Lorraine. I didn't say how old is the woman next to you, Lorraine. Listen, what I said was, no, that's a good guess. Two. Yes. Marion said two. Let me check with the judge. Is the correct answer? Yes. Only two times a minute. Next question. How about this one? The index finger on the Statue of Liberty. How long do you think it is? Do you think it's eight feet? Twenty feet? A hundred feet? Or is it two feet long? No. The index finger. Yes, Gil. Two feet. Gil says two. Uh, yeah, that's a good guess. Try to hold. Oh, okay. Well, Marion, it's we're in a recession now. People are unemployed. <laughs> oh, um, Jeanette, I'm sorry, Marion. Yes. Eight. Eight feet is the correct answer. Yes. Jeanette, go ahead, click in, please. No. Yes. yes. It, it is. works. Oh, it's, it's a user <laughs> error. You, you got to be the quickest clicker. Yeah, well, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Next question. Here it is. The average mom and dad. Do you remember how many times a year you used to buy crayons for your kids? Was it one? Three, five, a year. No. It used to be ten times a year. Lorraine? Ten. She said, Oh, you're too generous. Um, you're too generous. No. Clicking in is Marion. Three. Marion said three times a year. She is the correct answer. Yes. Three times a year. And more often than not, what is the first color crayon that a boy or girl will choose? No. Do you think it's black, yellow? Is it red or is it blue, Jeanette? Red. I would think red. Uh, yellow. Yeah, here it says blue. Lorraine, blue. Lorraine said blue. Uh, no. Marion says yellow. Yellow. That's uh, blue. Yes, Gil. Black. <laughs> <laughs> Is he peeking in my answer book when I went to the restroom? Black is a correct answer. Oh, folks, we have a special guest with us right now. Uh, who is it? The singer of the minute. Oh, we have special prize. The singer of the minute. Hey. <laughs> she wins a special prize. A week's vacation for four people in the basement of this building. Three hots and a cot. Uh, all alcohol and. And internet access is provided. Congratulations, ma'am, the senior of the minute. <laughs> or you can you can choose a pink tattoo, whichever you want. <laughs> We're just being silly. We're being silly. Let's get to the next question. Before we go to some old radio and TV commercials, if you took a 200-pound person in this room and you could send them to the planet Mars, how much would they weigh? 50 pounds, 376, or do you think? They would weigh 500 pounds. Marion says. 50. Marion says 50. Uh, no, that's a good guess. Anyone else, Jeanette? 300. I'm sorry? Two. 200 pounds. No. Uh, no. Lorraine or, or Gil? Lorraine? 76. I didn't say how old will you be in 17 years, ma'am. Listen, listen. What I said was 76 is a correct answer. Good job. They're oh, they're clapping for you over there. We need to check on the scores. Most people can't see what the scores are. Okay. Gil, you're the blue contestant. Gil is two. Jeanette is one. Lorraine and Marion are tied at three. So good job. We're going to kind of change topics. We're gonna, I'm going to play some old TV and radio commercials. These are songs that were on the radio and TV. This is just an image on TV, so don't let this influence um, the product that I'm going to play the song for. Um, <laughs> Mostly radio, some TV, mostly 60s, but I've got some 50s, 140s, and then some early 70s. I'll play this song, you tell me. What are they singing about? Please, what's this? Snap, what a happy sound. Snap is the happiest sound I've found. You may clap, rap, tap, clap, but snap makes the world go round. Rice Krispies. Mary, let me check with the judge. Snap, Rice Krispies. That's a great answer, Rice Krispies. Yay. Thank you, ma'am. 
I watch she appreciates that. Don't forget the winning contestant uh, gets a check for a hundred thousand dollars. So if you clap for them or don't try to cash it though. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so if you give them the answers, they might just reward you handsomely for it. What is it? I think this is a song from the forties. I could be wrong. Carmen Miranda sang this. What was she singing about, folks? <laughs> Jeanette knows. Bananas. What brand of bananas, please? Chiquita. Chiquita. Thank you, Gil. It's Chiquita Bananas. Chiquita yes. Banana and I've come to say. Yes, ma'am. Chiquita. Good job. Here's the next question. This is one of the most popular candy bars, ooh, probably of all time. Tell me what, and this is a song from the 60s. What brand of candy bar is it? There's nothing like the face of a kid eating a... Hershey. Yes, ma'am. Hershey. Hershey bar. Hershey bar. Hershey bar, yes. Good job. Next question. Um, one of the most popular beverages of all time. A song from 1970. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is quite good. Excellent, excellent. That was originally a t uh, TV and radio commercial. People called radio and TV stations so often to hear this, they finally made a real song out of it and made a lot of money for it. How about this? You remember this? This was from the 60s. I think they still use this today. From San Francisco comes... Uh, Rice uh, Rice Don't forget, go look at your button. If it's not lit, that means you're giving an answer to Marion. I said Rice Aroni the same thing. Right. Uh, right, so here's a hot dog commercial from the 60s. What brand is it? Hot dogs. Yo. Armor hot dogs. Armor. Armor hot dogs. A quick answer, yes. What kinds of kids eat armor hot dogs? Folks, I don't know if you remember this song. Listen to the words of what he's saying right now. Black kids, skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks. Dog kids, sissy kids. Even kids with mom. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Oh. He said, they said fat, skinny, and sissy. Imagine that now. You'd have some fat handcuffs on you. would be pulling away. You can't say that on the radio. Okay, here's the next, com uh, this is a toy. I just bought one of these for my granddaughter three weeks ago. From the 60s commercial. When walks downstairs, a loner in pairs and makes a... Slinky. 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 Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Help her. Help her. Slinky. 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 Stinky. No, Slinky. 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 <laughs> Spring, yeah, spring, slinky. a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's Slinky. Slinky is the correct answer, yes. Another commercial before we go to Hollywood and do some old actors. This is a dog food commercial from the 60s. What is it? My dog's better than your dog. My dog's better than yours. My dog's better because he gets... They know things. Yes, ma'am. Kennel ration. Kennel ration. Yes. My dog's better than yours. Right. So, Jeanette, don't forget, the guy that said kennel ration back there, he's got the grin on. <laughs> he's going to get a check if you win. Yeah, right. right. Or not. Okay. You can see him texting now. Honey, we're going away to Aruba. If well, Jeanette, that's, that's where I like to go. If Jeanette wins today, she's taking us with her. Here's a cat food from the 60s. Meow, 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 Meow what gave it away? Meow, 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 Good job. Excellent. This is a beer commercial. Here's a bonus question worth two points. It's a beer commercial from the 60s. It's real quick. It's real quick. Can you guess? Do you remember this? When you say fudge. You say fudge. Yeah. Yes. You said a lot of things Oh, I said two points, didn't I? Two points. There you go. Here's another beer commercial from the 60s. Bonus question. Three points. I don't drink beer. No. This is a... Here's two good friends. Tonight is kind of special. The beer will pour. Must say something more somehow. So tonight, tonight, tonight. Let... Miller's? Mowen Brown. Mowen Brown. Brown. Don't forget, look at your button. Look at it. Lowen Brown is the great answer. Yes, three points. Lowen Brown. Lowen Brown. 
Okay. Oh, one more beer. One more beer. Another beer commercial from the 60s. But it's time to relax. One beer stands clear. Beer after beer. If you've got the time. I hear answers. Yes, ma'am. Miller. Miller beer. Good job, good job. Excellent job. Let's con Ooh, look at how the contestants are doing. She's yeah. catching up. It's anyone's game right till the end. Gil is nine and Jeanette's five. Lorraine, three. <laughs> Marion is seven. Awesome job, folks. Let's go to Hollywood. I'm going to put a picture of a Hollywood actor or actress on the TV. I'm going to blot out their face. And I'm going to tell you something about them. I want you to tell me who I'm speaking of. First actor in 1951, he won an Award for a movie called African Queen Gill. Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart is the correct answer. Yes. Easy one, sure. Audience, you can continue to shout those answers. This woman lived from 1928 to 1982. She was probably real popular for Alfred Hitchcock movies. Dial M for Murder. Oh, yeah. Rear Window to Catch a Thief Gill. Tippy Hydra? No, I used to love her. Tippy Hydra. She went on to retire. Lorraine. Bryce Kelly? To be Princess Grace of Monaco, oh, yes, Grace Kelly. I pushed uh, <laughs> This comedy duo made many popular movies in the 30s and 40s. Uh, here answers Gil. Laurel and Hardy. Is the yeah, correct answer, yes. Mm. Gotta be quick on that clicker. Next question. This actor was actually discovered by Mae West. <laughs> he was in movies North by Northwest to catch a thief. Cary Grant. Cary Grant. Is the correct answer, yes. Good job, give the point, Marion. Next person, uh, 1932, she won her first Academy Award for a movie that was called Morning Glory. She won her fourth one for On Golden Pond. Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn says Gil is a great guess. Next question, 1944, best actress for a movie called Gaslight, and then in 1956 for this movie, Anastasia, Marion. Yeah, sure. Ingrid. 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 Just made it, just made it. Ingrid Bergman, good job. Uh, I'll tell you what, for a bonus point, if you can say her name three times without stuttering, you'll get a bonus point. On your marks, get set, go. Ingrid Bergman, Ingrid Bergman, Ingrid Bergman. Judges? <laughs> okay, we'll give it to her. She hasn't been drinking, you're right. She doesn't. <laughs> By the way, contestants, if you click your button twice, they will bring you a martini from the kitchen. Uh, I just noticed that here. You'll so. be about three of them then. <laughs> Next question. This is a Hollywood legend. Uh, on the waterfront, the Godfather. Oh, oh, oh. I shouldn't have done it. Breakfast at Marion's place. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Anyone else clicking in? Jeanette. Brandon. Mon. Mon. Well, Brando. I'll give it to you. Marlon oh, Brando. Brando. That was close. Next person. Uh, 1941 Best Actor for Sergeant York, and then for this movie, High Noon, Gill. Gary Cooper. His real name is Frank, but that's Gary Cooper. Good job, keeping the point. Tough talking and intense. This woman starred in over 100 films. She won an Academy Awards in 1935. A movie was called Dangerous. And then for Jezebel, and three years later, Betty Davis. Yes, ma'am. Betty Davis. This woman just passed away a few years ago. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, National Velvet. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor. Lorraine got it. That's oh, barely. That's barely. Next question. Um, 1937, this man won an Academy Award for a movie called Captain Courageous. And the following year, two years ago, for a movie called Spencer Boys Town. Tracy. Spencer Tracy is the correct answer. Yes, ma'am. Give her the point. Um, this is a bonus question because uh, nobody ever gets this guy. Uh, French Connection, Unforgiven. Beside an adventure, Gil? Gene Hackman. Yes, Gene Hackman. About 83 years old now, retired. Good job, give him two points. Next question, one of my favorites. Won an Academy Award in 1944 for the movie Going My Way, Gil. You're Bingle. Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. Is that his nickname, Bingle? That's what Germans call him, Bingle. Oh, really? That's funny. 1940, best actor for a Philadelphia story. Probably more popular for It's a Wonderful no! Wife. Marion. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Uh, that is no! It's a Wonderful Wife. Yes, go. Jimmy Stewart. James Stewart. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is the correct answer. Good. Fast Talking Facts. D. 
Dancing Leading Man won an Academy Award 1942 for the movie. No! I'm a Yankee Doodle. Jimmy Candy. Hey. Hey. Jimmy Candy. Oh, Jimmy Candy is the correct Jimmy answer. Good. Excellent, folks. You're moving fast. You're moving quickly. Let's go back to some general questions. A one in four chance. Please tell me the answer to this question. We did it already. How about yeah. the next one? Dragonflies. It's almost dragonfly season. How many mosquitoes can they eat in a day? 300, 20, 100, or 200 mosquitoes no! in a day? Lorraine? 300. Ooh, was she peeking in my answer, but yes, good job, wow. 300 in That's a good. day. That's what around. I'm telling you. Oh, folks, we have uh, special guests. Um, who plays in the minute? Special prizes for them. I don't know who they are, but they're hey. <laughs> Mickey Keller. <laughs> Sorry, they can't win because <laughs> we tried. I tried to give them a million dollars. They wouldn't let me. Next question. Here it is. The average American in one year. How many gallons of soda do we drink? Collectively. No. 10, 56, 100, 1,000, Gil? 56. 56 gallons in the air is the correct answer, yes. 56. How about ice cream? I know it's, it's far from ice cream season. The average American, don't forget there's Alaska and there's Maine and Hawaii. The average no. American, how many gallons of ice cream do we consume in a year? 1, 20, 30, or 6? Lorraine is clicking in, ma'am. 20. 20. Uh, no. Marion? 30. 30 gallons in a year. Uh, no. No. Jeanette? Six. Um, Fred, oh, I'm sorry, actually, I Jeanette was, was clicking in first. The button actually, go ahead. My family alone. Yes. But what did she say? She... What did you say, 20 and 30? Yeah. Okay. Go Six. ahead. Six. Six. And even, even though the, Gil, your button is lit, but it was a little glitch in the system there. Uh, uh, Jeanette was clicking in. Six is a great answer. So I'm going to give it a point. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Next question. The first toy a million billion years ago. What was it? A race car, a bicycle, a dog? No! What do you think it was a baseball over there? Lorraine is clicking in. Yes, ma'am. I'd say a dog. You know, it's funny how many people say bicycles, baseballs. There's a doll. Probably a little stick doll or something. Yeah. <laughs> the oldest letter in our alphabet. A, Z, G, O. Could it be O? No! Uh, Marion. A. You didn't hear me? The oldest letter in the alphabet. Could it be uh, no! A, Jeanette. Oh. Gil, stop pinching her. <laughs> now you can tell me, Jenny. Oh, is the correct answer. I'm just being silly. Where was toilet paper invented? <laughs> England, China, Mexico, Russia, or Lakeville, Gil? England. England. Oh, Marion. China. China. Yeah, China. China. Yeesh. Yeesh. It's like fresh Chinese rice paper, I always say. How long can a termite live? A month, a year, a day, or could it be a hundred years? No. Somebody tell me, Lorraine. A month. One month. No. Jeanette. A year. One year. A day. No. Mary, did you just have a turn? No, I just pressed. Oh, okay. Lorraine gave the first answer. Yeah. Okay. Then she gave I, I'm old. I'm getting confused. Yes, go ahead. Uh, a day. Did someone say a day? No. Okay. No. Roll, the, roll the tape there. Uh, no, nope. Gil, it's up to you. Uh, 100 years. Wow. Wow. Alex, what is 100 years? Yes. 100 years. Wow. It's actually a trick question, folks. How many years can a termite live? I was trying to trick you. See that? Man, tricky. Don't get it. No? <laughs> well, one month, a year, a day, or a hundred years. There was a thing in the plural there. Oh, okay. okay. That's it. Skip the, uh, on, the, on the martinis for uh, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> How many bathrooms are in the White House? Five? 32, two, or 15 no! bathrooms in the White House? Jeanette? Two. Two bathrooms in the White House. Uh, no! no. <laughs> Lorraine? Fifteen. Uh, Marion? 32. That's what I meant. <laughs> Marion, when I was president of the United States, and I wanted to hide my wife Hillary, I had 32 bathrooms. 
I'm only going to say this one more time. I did not have relations with that woman and any one of them. The most popular name for United States President William Peter Paul James or Barack? No! Mary? James. James, yes ma'am. James, good job, give the point. How many pounds was the latest United States President? 150, 50, 98, or 175 pounds? No! Gil? 98. President Madison was 98 pounds. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, he had acute nasopharyngitis. He ended up having his arms, his legs, and three of his ears amputated, so he was very light. <laughs> Put him in that box there, by the way. That's a collector's item. You know, besides people, here's a tricky question. You'll be surprised. The only other animal that can truly stand on its head. Donkey, elephant, bear, or dinosaur, Marion? Elephant. No. Be surprised on how many people don't know that. It's the elephant. Yeah. You know what the circus, when they do the sure. circus thing, man? All right, good job. Next question, uh, and here it is. <laughs> the average dog in one day. <laughs> oh, come on, Kelly. Look, look what he did. I told you not to let him in there. <laughs> oh, on the floor. Was it? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to wake up that guy on there. Like, no! How many hours does the average dog sleep there, Gil? Hours, hours sleeps at least eight. Uh, oh, no! Yes, ma'am. Eleven. Eleven, yes. Yeah. Folks, be honest, who was going to say 24? There's always one person. Yes. Ace Hardware, buy a shovel. He's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, come on, Kelly, look what... Here it is. How many feet can a kangaroo jump? When's the last time you had to, have, had to jump? See what a kangaroo can do? 10, 30, 20, or 100 feet? Can we jump? There, Lorraine. 20. Uh, yes, ma'am. Jeanette said 100. Uh, Gil? 10. Uh, no. Marion, listen, hey. listen to these people. Listen to these people. I know, it's the first time they've been right, but this <laughs> Oh, look, they're all jumping off the bridge. Want to join them? <laughs> Next question. The only state without horse flies. That's a long word. Virginia, Alaska, or Hawaii? Gil. Alaska. I'm fine, man. How are you? Alaska. Alaska. I thought she was being friendly. I'm just looking for a meal, that's all. Earthworms. How long can worms live for? Six years, one year, ten years, or a hundred years with termites? Over there it's... Marion says a hundred. No. Yes, Lorraine. One. Ten. One. Who said ten? Who said one? No. Jeanette. Ten. Oh my God. Yes. Lorraine. Six. Oh, you don't want Gil to have a turn? Is that the way we do things here in Lakeville? I love the dinger. I have to give you the dinger. You have to say no. Yes, six. There you go. Six years. Most cats on either side of their face. How many whiskers do they tend to have? 125, two or 12 whiskers. No. Over there it's Gil, yes sir. 12. Gil says 12. A woman out there said 100. I have to side with Gil. Good. Hey folks, guess what? It's time for a senior of the minute. We have prizes to give away. Hey! <laughs> what is he drinking? <coughs> Why, that's not beer. The senior of the minute. Oh, I'm sorry, this prize was for a woman only. I'm sorry, sir. Darn shucks. Why did I do that? Why do you make me press that button then? <laughs> He'll have something special, don't worry. Next question. <laughs> Two states that have the most bald eagles. Maine and Nevada, Ohio and Texas, Alaska and Florida. Clicking in the lovely and talented Mar uh, Marion. Maine and Nevada. Maine and Nevada, she said. Uh, no. Yes, uh, Lorraine. Alaska and Florida. Uh, the Alaska, <laughs> what did she say? Alaska. Is the correct answer? Yes, good. Let's, folks, I want to do some music. 
and when I do some music, I'm gonna play a song. You tell me the name of the singer, or the name of the song. We'll make it easy, nothing too hard. First song, everybody knows it. Get ready to click in. Whoa! Sentimental Journey. Mary says, Sentimental Journey is great. Yes, yes. Good job, next question. 1956 or 57, I think this singer still performs today. I know he does infomercials. Tell me the name of the song or his name. Do, 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 down to oh, down. Kind of, kind of. oh, what's his name? Oh, that guy. <laughs> The kid that did 16. Neil Sadaka. Uh, uh, I'm going to give that to you. It was just, just on the board. And don't forget, you have five seconds. It was Neil Sadaka. Break down. 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 Breaking up his heart. Do, do. That was a long time ago. 1956 to 57. The name of the song or the singer. <laughs> Elvis. Elvis Presley break, uh, breaking up. It's time to do. All shook up. Oh, well, the bless of my soul. Oh, what's wrong with me? Yes, ma'am. Good job. Um, 1942, maybe? I know none of you were around. Oh, by the way there, Vicky. A little disappointed today. You said a lot of old people would show up. <laughs> what time do they arrive? Is there a bus? Are we waiting for them? <laughs> Where are those old people? 1942. Yo! You know, Harry James. I didn't want to do it. He didn't let the music <laughs> Okay, everyone except for Gil. Uh, 1942. Uh, song by. Yes, ma'am. You made me love you. I just wanted to hear a woman say that from the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't give you a point. <laughs> I'm shallow. 19. 70 or 71, I actually saw this singer perform this song at the Brockton Fair when it was popular. Tell me his name or the name of the song. B.J. Thomas. Raindrops are falling on my head. Falling on my head. For a week of this young man. Yes, good job. Um, 1939, maybe? Someone Lorraine. Judy Garland. Yes, Judy Garland. Oh, the rainbow. Oh, yeah. Good job, good job. I haven't checked on the score in a while. We are nearing the final rounds here. Whoa! 27 to 8 to 10 to 19. It's still almost anyone's game because of those bonus points. Doing good there, folks. Another song. A country western legend. I think he's about 76 years old. This song might be about 30 years old. I guarantee you this is in every jukebox from here to San Francisco. Tell me his name or tell me the name of the song, please. On a warm summer's eve. Go. Kenny Rogers. You listen to too much music there, Gil. On the train bound from Dover. The gambler, Kenny Rogers. Good job. 1940s. I'm going to buy a... Let me check with one of the original Mills Brothers for the answer out there, please. You know the song? Yes, there's a good one. that I can call. That's good for his age. <laughs> Let's go back to Hollywood. We did James Cagney already. Next one, please. Oh, this is a legend in Hollywood. Let me tell you something about him. Uh, best actor in 1959 for Ben-Hur. He was Moses in the Ten no! Commandments skill. Charlton Heston. You've never seen my, or played this before, have you? No. Okay. I saw the movie, though. Okay. Because sometimes, uh, there you go, Charlton Heston. Next, uh, you know this guy. No! Go. John Wayne. Elvis Presley is a great answer. <laughs> John Wayne. This next person that started as a circus acrobat. No! Yes, Gil. Bert uh, Lancaster. Bert Lancaster is a great answer. Boy. Okay, uh, I know, I know, ladies. Hold on, don't worry. It's not fair. He keeps getting them. You know this guy, or do you? Clark Cable. I'm sorry, Marion. It was Gil's turn. Oh. <laughs> Clark Cable is the correct answer. Next question. Who is this? You know her. Go. Julie. Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews. Mary Poppins. Uh, next woman was uh, uh, born in Missouri in 1911. That tells me a lot. Next woman was Virginia McGrath. Oh, Gil. That's, I 
I do know who it is, but I can't think of her name. Uh, sorry. Yes, anybody else clicking in? She was a heck of a dancer there, ladies. Yeah. Oh, Ginger Rogers. Oh. Ginger Rogers. Yeah, Ginger Rogers, yes. Good. Give me the points. Quickly, quickly. Next one. This woman here started as a singer on the radio. She won an Academy Award for this movie called Johnny Belinda, where she portrayed a deaf mute. You're not supposed to say mute anymore, but that's what she... Yes, ma'am. Jane Wyman. I'm sorry? Ian Blythe? No. Jane. Jane Wyman. Jane Wyman. No. Yes, yes. No, you said no. You changed your mind. Good job. Next question. 1951 Best Actress, Streetcar Named Desire. And she married Lawrence Olivier after they worked together. Gil? Uh, she was in Gone with the Wind. What the devil is her name? Vivian, Vivian. Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee. Correct answer. Good. Good. And finally, Best Actress in 1953, Roman Holiday with Gregory Peck. Wait Until Dark, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Lady Lorraine. Audrey Hepburn. Yes. Audrey Hepburn. Hold on, let me check with the judge. Is the correct answer? He knows. Better listen to him. Good job. Give her a point. Excellent, excellent. We're moving at a lightning speed here, folks. When I do my nursing homes, we're not used to going this fast. <laughs> Slow down a little. We should only be on question number five right now. Oh, you already done that. I know. <laughs> so I'm testing you. We're testing you. I don't like this question because it's too easy. The animal that makes the loudest noise. Is it a bear, a whale, a lion, or could it be a horse there, Marion? Whale. Is it a humpback whale or a right whale? <laughs> I don't know. For bonus points. Oh, uh, humpback. Humpback. An Atlantic humpback or a Pacific humpback? <laughs> For bonus Pacific. Points. A Pacific humpback that migrates in the spring or a Pacific humpback that migrates in the fall? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> spring or fall? Fall. Pacific humpback from the uh, migrates in the spring from the fall that has five calves, or Pacific humpback from the the, the, the fall that migrates in the spring? Uh, I'm just being silly. Yeah. It wasn't a whale. <laughs> I was just being silly, seeing how long it would go. Lorraine. How about the lion? Was it an African lion or an Indian lion? It's a lion. It's a lion. <laughs> the oldest food made by man. Bread, pizza, cereal, or popcorn, Marion? Popcorn. Popcorn. Uh, no, Lorraine? Bread. Bread. Yes. Gets to get bread on the way home, as a matter of fact. Bonus question with two points. If you could mix all the colors of the rainbow together in a jar, like paint, what color would they make? Red, black, gray, yellow. Yes, Marion. Gray. Gray. Yes, ma'am. Yes, gray. Good job. Two points. Hey, folks, guess what? It's time for the bonus question. The final five questions. The first one is worth one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five points to find out who shall be the winner of today's contest. Good luck, folks. Audience, keep shouting those answers if you would. First question, one point. One ostrich egg, crack it into a bowl. How many chicken eggs do you need to make the same amount? Ten. Five, ten, twenty, or forty eggs. It's Lorraine. Ten. Ten. Marion. Twenty. Twenty. Go. Twenty. Okay, I'm sorry, Jeanette. Look at your button. It's not just light up. He got it ahead of you. Go ahead, Gil. He got it ahead of 40. 40 was the correct answer, yes. 40. Jeanette, check it again, please. I'm just making sure. Okay. Because every once in a while, they go on the fritz. So, okay, 40 was the correct answer. Gil gets two points. Going to the final uh, third question here. Are we? Is the third? Where is it? There we go, the third. This is worth three points, if you will. A coffee tree, one year. How many pounds of coffee will typically come off of a tree? Five, it's gonna be 10, five, 100, or one pound of coffee? What do you think? There no! Oops, Lorraine. Five. Five, she said. Uh, no! Jeanette. Ten. 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 Uh, no! Marion. I'm sorry, you had a turn a little while ago. Who's next? 
I'm kidding. I'm just teasing. A hundred pounds? No! Yes, Gil. Wow. What was it that gave it away? One pound. That's all. Juan Valdez is not the richest man in the valley. He should have grown something else. They said, okay, the final, the second question, or fourth question, this is worth four points. The letter that first started is the drawing of a snake. L, Z, and S. Mary. S. S. For snake. Jeanette. Z. Z for snake. Lorraine. L. 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 Yes, uh, no, no. good. N. I know, what's the difference between an N and a Z? It started as the draw. I don't know, but that's what they said. It was N. N. One, two, three, four points. And the final question, this is worth five points. Five points for this one. I want to see what it is. Make it a tough one, please. The deepest part of the ocean. How many degrees Fahrenheit does it tend to be? Zero, fifty. 39 or 20 degrees. No! Over there is Lorraine. Yes, ma'am. 39. 39. Let me check for the judge. Is the correct answer? Good job. Five points in that one, two, three, four, five. Folks, let's see. I can't even see, but I think, what is this? Holy cow. Gil, 45. Jeanette with eight. Lorraine with 18. Mary in second place with 23. Today, Gil is our quiz show winner. All right. Unbelievable. Gil and his family will be going to where? Home. <laughs> How about a round of applause for all these contestants, folks? Hope you had some fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Uh, geez, she gave me this notice. Kelly, where was it? Okay. The, uh, you did have a meal here, right? Yeah. Today? Okay. What was for dessert? Brownies. All right, that's what it's, I can't read, it says cookies. Anyone who had cookies today, our apologies from the cook. We accidentally mixed leftover vodka from New Year's Eve instead of water. You may see spots on the ceiling um, after a little while. I don't know. Please consult your physician of the spots, don't go away, whatever. Uh, folks, have a wonderful day, we'll see you soon. Here's some swing music for you. Another round of applause, our contestants, thank you. Dancing is allowed. Hold on, contestants, I have some...